I eat 10 times my weight and energy each year, and what I have left is what my body's decided to save. And being on a ketogenic diet allows, gives my body much more power yeah. to sift through those things and save the things it wants to save and not be forced to save things that might do me damage. Be if they're insulin resistant, they can't burn the carbohydrates adequately, and that gets turned into saturated fat in the liver. Sure. And so you actually now we block the body's mm -hmm. Ability to burn the saturated fats are always there, but it forces the body to make more saturated fat. Yes. And we're also monitoring other biomarkers, such as lipoprotein, particle sizes, biomarkers of inflammation. Right. So we'll have a lot of information going forward that will inform us in mm. terms of uh, how safe we feel this mm. will be as a long-term strategy. And the safer it is, the more we can extend it out to less threatened segments of the population. But right now, we know people with diabetes have a marked increased risk of cancer and heart disease. Mm -hmm. uh, and so any potential small increased risks that might be associated uh, with some aspects of this diet are completely counterbalanced by the, the reversing all those risks of cardiovascular disease and, and cancer that, that uh, are associated with diabetes.